I think uh, in, in principle the, um, the benefits of the cloud are very attractive and, uh, and so as a result I think organisations are naturally drawn to any kind of technology or, um, or capability that will improve the way that they manage operations. Um, I think with cloud though it's, it's slightly more complicated. I think that organisations need to rationalise several things before they're able to make a clear determination as to whether cloud is indeed appropriate for, for them and, and, and of course when. Um, I think the first thing about cloud is that it's an evolving technology and capability. Uh, we see great potential in addressing some of the fundamental issues around IT uh, with respect to uh, on-premise infrastructure. Organisations struggle with cost, they struggle with inflexible infrastructure, they struggle with complexity, they struggle with meeting SLAs, they struggle with finding time and resource to be able to deliver innovation which is just so critical given so much innovation is dependent upon technology today. Um, so cloud addresses in part most if not all of those issues or at least the promise of cloud um, does. Uh, I think the things that the, the that are wrong with that statement, however, is that it doesn't necessarily answer in an explicit way questions of security, uh, questions of compliance, questions of regulatory conditions and markets that are very domestic market orientated. Um, it doesn't address issues of SLAs. You know, the SLAs, better or worse, are indifferent to what's being provided by the internal IT organisation at that time. Um, there are still some question marks around information management and uh, information asset security, um, organisation reorientation. You know, the, the 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 traditional IT department as we know it would need to evolve significantly should a technology or a capability like cloud be be leveraged. So, I think that um, in principle, cloud will deliver on its promise as it evolves. Um, in principle the technology does address some of the fundamental pain points of CIOs today, both in Asia and indeed around the world. But I think that there is a lot of definition around uh, some of the things that I just referenced in order to really make a clear determination as to whether it's easy or not. I think easy today, big question mark. I think over time ease of use will be something that cloud service providers factor into their offering. Um, I think that it will be a key element in actually drawing customers and acquiring customers longer term. Um, but right now, just given where it's at and its evolution, um, not easy, but still worth evaluating. I think the first one and, uh, and, and, the, and the primary driver is always going to be around cost. Um, you know, if you look at the dynamics of CapEx and OpEx as it relates to IT, um, and more importantly, the principles of return on invested capital as it relates to IT, particularly previous to the introduction of technologies like virtualization from VMware. Sometimes return on invested capital would be measured in many years and in fact sometimes uh, as a goal never achieved. Um, I think that moving to the cloud, the, f the first thing an organisation is going to look at is what is the, the, the cost benefit of doing so. Um, the first thing it does is, on the cost side, is it shifts CapEx to OpEx. And so organisations have traditionally planned for IT in annual cycles, three-year cycles or five-year cycles. And, uh, and oftentimes, business unit owners will provide capital to a set of projects and not necessarily under understand how the benefits of that project will affect their particular set of employees and or users. And um, moving CapEx to OpEx, one I think is more aligned with the normal financial planning cycle of a corporation or any company because it becomes more quarterly in nature, annual in nature, three year uh, planning in nature. But I think the other thing, it draws a very tight correlation between how OpEx is being spent and how IT services are being delivered. And I think that that will begin to reorientate and address this kind of business and IT organisational dynamic, which I see misaligned. I think that understanding and addressing the cost paradigm over time will perhaps drive better congruency between IT and the business because we go from this cost-centred dynamic to this business benefits 
and business orientated uh, dynamic. So I think the first thing is, is looking at cost. The second thing is just looking at the translation of workloads, the translation of service levels, the translation of operational practices. Um, it's a very tactical set of tactical considerations, but still critical because the organisation still has to run. You know, the organisation has been conditioned to run within a certain IT technology framework. And, uh, and most of those things, or at least some of those things, need to be consistent. Um, of course, they need to improve, but they need to be consistent. So one of the key success factors is just that translation of the on-premise infrastructure and all of the dynamics associated with that to an off-premise facility. I think the third one, and probably most important, is rationalising the service level improvements. You know, why would you move to the cloud if there was no cost benefit and there was no service level improvement? I think service level improvements are a really critical one. Just given businesses' dependency on IT today, um, you know, 95% of all business problems are solved by technology, um, you know, SLAs become really important. You know, we know how important business continuity and disaster recovery solutions are to organisations. Um, and so ensuring that there is an improvement in service level through that transition from on-premise to off-premise I think is critical. So assuming that cloud service providers can address the cost question and, uh, and answer that comprehensively and specifically around a shift from CapEx to OpEx. Being able to f seamlessly transition workloads and applications from their own environment to a cloud service provider environment. And number three, provide the same level and or better service levels back to the business. I think those three factors would enable a successful migration to cloud.